Hello and welcome to AutoX and welcome to the 32nd Convergence India Expo. Automobile manufacturers have showed up here in full swing with a focus on sustainability. So let's you and I check out what the buzz is all about. Well, let's start here. This is the Mahindra Pavilion. They brought along two new electric origin SUVs, which is the XCB90 and the BE6. This is the more premium one. This is the family oriented electric SUV. And if you talk a bit about its highlights, well, it gets two battery pack options, a 59 kilowatt hour and a 79 kilowatt hour battery pack option. It can do zero to 100 in 6.8 seconds. So it's fast and it has a claim range of 500 kilometers plus. So it's stylish, it's fast, but it's feature loaded as well. If I talk about highlights, well, you get a triple 12.3 inch screen setup. You get a 16 speaker Harman Kardon sound system. You get augmented reality, heads up display and level to ADAS as well. Then this is the BE6. It is Mahindra's sporty electric SUV offering. It gets a rear wheel drive setup. And again, two battery pack options, 59 kilowatt hour and 79 kilowatt hour. But it is a tad bit faster to 100 kilometers per hour at 6.7 seconds, but still gets a claimed range of 500 kilometers plus. So with the performance, you also get the added benefit of convenience and safety. In terms of the feature highlights, this has twin screen setup. You have a 16 speaker Harman Kardon sound system. In terms of safety, you have a 360 degree camera and you also have level two ADAS. Next, we come to the Tata EV stall where they have the curved EV on display. It is an electric coupe SUV and it gets a claim range of 585 kilometers and it gets two battery pack options of 45 kilowatt hour and a 55 kilowatt hour option. And then in terms of features, well, you get a 12.3 inch infotainment system, you get a 10.2 inch instrument cluster, you have a panoramic sunroof, you have wireless charging, you have fast charging capabilities and you also have cool front seats. Next up, we've come to the Hyundai Pavilion and they brought along the electric lineup, which includes the Ionic 5 and the Creta Electric. We start with this one. This is based on Hyundai's electric global modular platform. And the highlight here has to be the range, which is 631 kilometers, or I claim. It gets a rear wheel drive setup, 215 bhp, 350 newton meters of peak torque. Features include styling highlights like 20 inch alloy wheels. Inside, you get nice tees like a twin 12.3 inch screen setup. And for safety, you get level two ADAS as well. Next, we come to this. This is the Creta Electric. It's based on the Creta platform, but built to suit an electric motor. You get two battery pack options, which is a 42 kilowatt hour and a 51.4 kilowatt hour option. Claim range is 390 kilometers and a 473 kilometers respectively, but both can do zero to 100 in 7.9 seconds. However, you do get EV specific highlights like the newly designed grille, alloy wheels, steering wheel, shifter knob, and center console. But it also shares some features with the Ionic 5, like the vehicle to load feature, which you can use to power up external electronic devices, like a coffee machine. Next, we have MG Motor India, who's brought along the Windsor and the Comet. And if we can start with this, this was essentially the first car in India to offer a battery pack as a service. Essentially, it's a five-seater electric crossover with a 38 kilowatt hour battery pack and a claim range of 331 kilometers. Feature highlights include a 15.6 inch touchscreen infotainment system, a panoramic glass roof, reclining rear seats, and a starting price of just 9.99 lakh ex showroom. Then, this little nugget is the cutest and most compact electric vehicle in India. Some might even call it the perfect EV for the country. Of course, it's the Comet. It gets a 17.3 kilowatt hour battery pack, produces 42 bhp, 
110 newton meters of peak torque and gets a claim range of 230 kilometers. Despite its size, it has a pretty comprehensive feature suit that includes a twin digital screen setup, wireless connectivity, and the 2025 update. Well, that gets electronic parking brake, auto hold feature, and an auto folding ORVM feature as well. The automotive industry has been evolving rapidly with connected vehicles, next-gen infotainment and new propulsion systems becoming the norm. And what better platform to showcase and explore this than the Smart Mobility India Expo? Co-located with the 32nd Convergence India Expo, India's biggest tech expo and 10th Smart Cities India Expo, it was the place to be for everyone in attendance. Moving on from the mainstream automobile manufacturers, you also have the presence of other organizations like SIAM, the Society of Indian Automobile Manufacturers, the largest governing body in the Indian automotive space. But they brought along some showcases like the Suzuki Chixer SF250 Flex Fuel. Then you have the Tata Curve EV representing the electric space. We already showcased this to you. You have the Mahindra Trio Plus e rickshaw with an array claimed range of 167 kilometers. And finally, you have the Bajaj Freedom CNG, the world's first CNG-powered motorcycle. Next, you also have component manufacturers like CP Plus, which specialize in car dash cams. And Infineon, a company which specializes in microchips for automotive use. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I've come to the end of this quick walk around. What do you guys think? Tell us in the comment section down below. And if you happen to have visited this expo as well, tell us in the comments which stall or which product did you find most interesting. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching.